flammability characteristic of liquids and vapor okay for liquids flash point temperature are determined using open cup apparatus then we have a equation that can correlate our flash point temperature and also boiling boiling temperature so boiling point okay this is tv our boiling point and this is tf okay our flash point temperature okay so this is the uh, the equation that will correlate between the boiling point and also the flash point okay just uh, remember all the temperature will be involved in kelvin so a b and c okay a b and c there are constants that provided in table 6.1 okay we look, okay this is table 6.1 where all the constant used in equation okay the previous equation are listed okay for some of the chemicals like uh, alcohols acids ether sulfur and so on so you have all the constants for a b and c you just need to find what is the boiling point to get your flash point okay this is a very straightforward equation then Flash point also can be estimated for multi-component mixture. Okay, the previous one is for pure materials. Okay, now we look, uh, we try to determine what is the flash point for multi-component mixtures. Okay, so there are some uh, requirements. Okay, for these mixtures, only one component is flammable, and also the flash point of the flammable component is known. We look one of the example. Methanol has a flash point of uh, 54 Fahrenheit and its vapor pressure at this temperature is 62 uh, mmHg. So, what is the flash point of a solution containing 75% methanol and 25% water by weight? So, only one type of flammable component. Okay. Inside this mixture, okay, you have methanol and water. So, if the requirement, okay, uh, just like the requirement for previous uh, equation, we only have one component of flammable material. Okay. So, try to look for what is the saturation vapor pressure and also the flash flash point temperature for this material. Okay, for methanol, this is the saturation vapor pressure graph. Okay, saturation vapor pressure versus temperature for methanol. Now, if we we'll try to find what is uh, what is the flash point or flash temperature, uh, flash point temperature for this methanol mixture, we need to understand or we need to determine what is our vapor pressure okay what is our vapor pressure so the first step is uh, we need to find what is the saturation vapor pressure of methanol okay p saturated so based on Rolle's law of partial pressure this is the equation okay pressure is equal to your mole fraction times saturated pressure So only two materials inside this mixture, okay, water and methanol. You have a twenty-five percent of uh, water and seventy-five percent of methanol. Try to find the mole fraction. Okay, so the methanol have a zero point six three mole fraction. The pressure is sixty-two. So divide by your mole fraction then you got your p saturated of methanol which is 98.4 so you have your p saturated now look back at your graph okay this is your saturated vapor pressure versus temperature for methanol where is your point 98.4 okay so this is a very big graph we try to scale it down Okay, this is the scaling down of the graph. Okay, under 98, 
region. Okay, this is the vapor pressure. Then you have your temperature. So using a graph of vapor pressure versus temperature, you can find your flash point. Okay, or you can determine your flash point temperature, which is uh, according to the graph is twenty point five degrees Celsius or ninety eight point five. 98.9 degree Fahrenheit. Alright, that's for liquid. Okay, now for gases and vapors. Flammability limits for vapors are determined experimentally in a specially designed closed vessel apparatus. Okay, then it will be repeated with different concentration until a range of flammability of specific gas is established. Okay, so this is our graph. Okay, after a few experiments, this is your lower flammability limit, and this is your upper flammability limit. Okay, as you can see, this is the pattern of the uh, pressure. Okay, this is the the pattern for the pressure versus methane volume in air. Okay, that's for gases and vapors. Now for vapor mixtures. Okay, so if you have a mixtures, okay, then you need your lower flammability limit, LFL, and your upper flammability limit to determine. Okay, so these mixture limits can be computed using this equation. Okay, you have your LFL mix and UFL mix. Okay, so this is for mixtures that have more than one flammability material. Okay, you have more than one flammable material. So you can calculate your LFL and UFL based on on your mole fraction of components. So LFL equal to one over the summation of Y over LFL. So what is the Y is the mole fraction of components on combustible basis? Okay, as compared to previous equation, we have a mole fraction including the air. Okay, that's the whole mixture. But for vapor mixtures, Y is the mole fraction on combustible basis only. Okay, we only have we only uh, determine the mole fraction involving all the flammable material. Okay, so the N is the number of combustible species. Okay, because we only calculate or determine all the combustible material. So, example, what is the LFL and UFL of a gas mixture composed of 0.8% hexane, 2.0% uh, uh, methane, and 0.5% ethylene by volume. First step, we try to determine what is the mole fraction of each component. Then, referring to Appendix B, try to determine what is the uh, LFL and UFL data for each of these materials. Okay, you have hexane, methane, and ethylene. Okay, so total combustible in volume percent is 3.3%. Okay, then the remaining of the mixture is air. Our mole fraction, remember Y. Okay, Y is a mole fraction on combustible basis. This is the mole fraction based only on this flammable materials okay you have hexane methane and ethylene so try to determine what is the mole fraction of each component okay only this flammable material okay then you can get your lfl and ufl data okay this is your lfl and ufl data right so you have your ethylene hexane and also methane Okay, your LFL and UFL. Then we can use 
the equation of LFL mix and UFL mix. 1 over, okay, the summation of uh, the mixture mole fraction divided by their own LFL and UFL. So, you got your new LFL and UFL for this mixture. Okay. So, LFL mix is 2.75%, while you have UFL mix is 12.9%. So, is uh, the mixture is uh, flammable? So, the answer is yes, because this material, okay, this mixture contains 3.3% of total combustible. Okay, on next video, I will show, okay, we will try to determine what is the flammability limit, but this time with dependence on temperature and pressure.